Welcome to this week's edition of CNN Preview, our weekly entertainment segment focusing on music and movies. And we kick off with a French revolution in dance music with the long-awaited return of Daft Punk. She's up all night to the sun, I'm up all night to get some, she's up all night for good fun, I'm up all night. In their first true album for eight years, Daft Punk channel a disaffection with modern electronic dance music to go back to the future, combining the distinctive disco funk guitar of Nile Rodgers and the vocals of Pharrell Williams to provide a more human face to their robotic sound. The robots don't talk, but CNN Preview tracked down the camera-shy French duo behind the band for a rare audio interview. Pop music in 2013 has become very formatted. You hear the same synthesizer sounds on many different records, and uh, I guess we wanted to record an album that breaks this formatted formula. We have always been fascinated by the relationships of technology and humanity. The idea for this album was to make our robotic and electronic music more human than before, at a time where human music is becoming gradually more computerized and more robotic. We wanted all the robot voices on the album to feel more human and more expressive than our previous recordings. Led by the infectious hit single Get Lucky, Daft Punk's album Random Access Memories will be released worldwide from May the 20th. Motion Hamid's best-selling novel, The Reluctant Fundamentalist, has been turned into a movie by director Mira Nair. And audiences in the UK, the US and India get their first chance to see it this month. Yes, I'm Pakistani. Yes, I'm Muslim, but that's not all I am. The story follows a young Pakistani man named Changas, played by British actor Riz Ahmed, who becomes successful in business and love in New York City. You have 20 minutes to convince me that you belong at Underwood's house. In America, I get an equal chance to win, and whether or not you hire me, Jim, I am going to win. But the 9-11 attacks change his world and the way he's regarded. You picked a side after 9-11? I didn't have to. It was picked for me. And he returns home to Pakistan, disaffected by capitalism. What's the most interesting part of the reluctant fundamentalist is that the fundamentalism is not religious, it's economic. It's, it's, it's understanding that the parallels between the market and terror are actually very close. So tell me, Bobby, what exactly is the article about? The kidnapping of an American citizen. I think I had something to do with this kidnapping. I'm not the one you have to convince. Now, here's a question for you. What's the most watched annual music event? Well, the organizers will tell you it's the Eurovision Song Contest. And this year, their traditional penchant for pop is being perked up somewhat with a dash of heavy metal. Maybe the In a bizarre twist, Black Sabbath's Tony Iommi has written the Armenian entry, a rock ballad called Lonely Planet, to be performed by the Armenian band Dorians. Well, they'll be up against close to 40 other countries, with early frontrunners Emily de Forest from Denmark and Zlata Ognovich from the Ukraine. Nothing comes from dreams by dreams. The Eurovision Grand Final takes place in the Swedish city of Malmö next weekend and is expected to attract a global audience of 120 million. That's all for this edition of CNN Preview. Join us though next week. Mr. Gatsby, I'd like to know exactly who are you anyhow. When we'll be joining the cast of The Great Gatsby for a special edition from Cannes, the greatest film festival in the world. Thank <laughs> you.